Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwa. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to enable surveys and how to create a survey in Salesforce. Okay, so let's get started. So to enable survey, you need to go to setup and search for survey. Go to survey settings and you can find this uh, toggle button over here. So it is already enabled for me. But if it is disabled, you will have to enable it. And if you want to use your survey in any experience cloud site that you have configured in your org, you can select that site as well. Okay. And there is one more setting that survey owners can manage responses. So uh, if you want to manage responses, maybe you want to create some reports based on, on that or make some decision to improve something in your uh business then you can make enable this condition okay so now the survey is enabled what i will do is i'll go to in the apps available list you will have to search for surveys and it is already open so you can see the recently viewed surveys or all surveys my surveys so now let's create a new survey. So once you click on new, it will take you to a survey builder app. So I'll just give a name to this survey general survey about product something product xyz let's say click continue now on the left side you can see there are three components basically so one is your welcome page you can have some uh, kind of uh, greetings over here so hi let's say or oh, let me see if we can have some sort of merge fields okay i'm not getting that as of now so let's say hi customer and below i'm just gonna say please provide your valuable feedback for our product xyz okay now you need to come to this add add page section so this is where you will have to post your question so what question you are going to ask and what could be the answer for that so questions uh, question i'm just uh, giving first i am putting a rating based thing so how much you like our product xyz question mark and this is how much do you like our product xyz and this would be a rating based question and apart from that i can add one more question it could be let's say um pick list say would you prefer would you like to refer this product to your friends and in the pick list i'm just giving yes and one more choice as no and uh, one more choice let's say can say okay 
So two questions I have added in my survey. One is rating about that product and another one is would you like to refer this product to your friends. And now let's come to thank you page. So I'm just gonna say thank you for your response. Okay, that's it. Now our welcome is having high customer. Please provide your valuable feedback for our product XYZ. Then how much do you like our product XYZ? And would you like to refer this product to your friends? And then thank you for your response. That's it. Now let's preview it. All right. So this is going to be the first screen of the survey. Hi customer. Please provide your valuable feedback for this product. Now I'm giving rating four and I'm saying, okay, yes, click finish. Now once that is done, thank you for your response. The response, thank you message has come through and you can see the analytics of this uh, survey in the analyze section over here, but to see that it has to be activated. Okay, so I'm just gonna activate it for now. Okay, it is activated. Now, this is the section which can be used to send your invite, uh, send your survey link by the invitation. So, invitation means you will be getting uh, a link or QR code that you can provide to users or people or uh, you can send out an email with this link so we have both the options available participants from your company and outside outside your company so both the links you can get from here or another option is by sending an email okay so you will have to select whether you want to send the link or directly the question okay then whether you want to send to an individual or send to a list. So individual is nothing but you will just have to give the email address directly or list. Uh, if you select, then you will have to select for the object and the respective recipient field. So it will uh, take those records and send this survey link to those people okay it could be your contacts or users or any other way like you might have contacts on cases so like that so if i select send to individual then you will have to provide the email address in the to field and like that you can send out your email okay okay click next and click send so that's how you can send your email as well with the with your survey link. Now let's see because we have already activated it. Now let me open this here. Okay, I want to show you how this uh, analyze section comes. So already there is one response. Uh, Capture. Now let's uh, try to give one more response with just two rating. And I would not like to prefer this product to my friends. Click finish. So thank you. Response has come. Click refresh. Okay. So as you can see over here, it says that uh, after responses are submitted, it might take some time for the dashboard to update. So let's try refreshing it, whether data comes in or not. So as you can see, I have given two star rating with the uh, preference, uh, sorry, reference as a no. Okay. So that response has come through here. One is the total number of references and two is star. Here you can see and here for this question, no answer you can see. So 
whatever responses are going to come you can uh, see those responses in your dashboard and make a decision whether uh, your customers are liking something or not so that was all about this video if you find this content helpful please like the video and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagherwal thank you